In this video, we will be looking at an optimization problem where we have to minimize the cost of a pipeline being built on dry land and in water. If you've not already done so, press pause to copy down these guidelines for solving applied max and min problems. When you're ready to continue, press play. The problem that we'll be looking at is a construction company is given a contract to build a pipeline from point A on the bank of a river to point B on the opposite bank and two miles downstream. If the river is 0.75 miles wide, what is the cheapest construction cost to build the pipeline if it costs $1 million per mile for a pipeline built on dry land and $2 million for each mile in water. Now the first thing that we want to do is to sketch our problem. So we have a river and we're building our pipeline from point A on the bank of the river. So let's let this be point A. And we're going to point B on the opposite bank and two miles downstream. So let's let this be point B. And our distance here is two miles. Also, we're told the river is three-fourths of a mile wide. So let's label this as 0.75 miles. So our pipeline then, we're going to build some of it on dry land and some of it in the water to get from point A to point B. We can let this be D, that stands for dry land, and then we'll let this be W, representing the pipeline going through the water. And we're asked to minimize the cost. So our cost is going to be $1 million per mile for the pipeline built on dry land. So 1 times D plus $2 million for each mile in the water. So that'll be 2 times W. Now we need to write this expression all in the same variable. We'll come over here and we can see that we have a right triangle. From point A to a point that's directly across from point B, is two miles. So this is two miles. And our distance that we're building our pipeline in dry land is D. So this side of our right triangle is going to be two minus D. Now we have the three sides of our right triangle and we can use Pythagorean theorem. So two minus D squared plus 0.75 squared equals W squared. Now 
Let's do some simplifying here. When we square this binomial, we get 4 minus 4d plus d squared. And then 75 hundredths is the same as 3 fourths. When we square 3 fourths, we get 9 sixteenths. That's equal to w squared. We can combine this constant 4 and the constant 9 sixteenths. And so we end up with d squared minus 4d plus 73 sixteenths. I need an expression for w, so I'm going to square root both sides. And I'm also going to get a common denominator here of 16. So this will be 16d squared this will be negative 64d plus 73 and then that's going to be square rooted to give us our expression for w now normally would we would write plus or minus but since we're dealing with actual distances we won't deal with a negative square root so our cost is 1d plus and I need 2 times the square root of now I can square root 16 so I'm going to write this as the square root of 16 d squared minus 64 d plus 73 and then in the denominator, the square root of 16 is 4. Let's simplify just a little bit. So I have my cost is D plus, I'll write this as 1 half. And then my radical I'll write with the exponent. So 16d squared minus 64d plus 73 raised to the one-half power. Now I need to find the derivative so that I can find the minimum of this function. So my derivative is... 1 plus and the power rule says we'll take 1 half times 1 half which is 1 fourth times the radicand which is 16 d squared minus 64 d plus 73 and then that's reduced the exponents reduced by 1 so negative 1 half and then times the derivative of what's inside. So 32d minus 64. Now I can take a fourth of each of these coefficients and get 8d and 16. So C prime is 1 plus, let me write this as the radical in the denominator, 16d squared 
minus 64d plus 73 and then 8d minus 16 is in the numerator. We get a common denominator here. We see that c prime is the square root of 16d squared minus 64d plus 73 plus 8d minus 16 all over this radical. Now to find our min, we need to set the derivative equal to zero, which means then that we'll have square root of 16d squared minus 64d plus 73 will be equal to a positive 16 minus 8d. Solve for d, so let's square both sides. 16d squared minus 64d plus 73. Um, 16 squared is 256. 16 times 8 times 2 is negative 256d. And then negative 8d squared will be 64d squared. We move everything to one side of the equation. Subtract 16d squared from both sides. So let's see, we have 48d squared. And then add 64d to both sides. So minus 192d. And then subtract 73 from both sides. So plus 183. Our quadratic formula can be used to find d. We have d is equal to a negative, negative 192, so 192 plus or minus the square root of negative 192 squared minus 4 times 48 times 183 divided by 2 times 48. So if we do the plus, we get d is approximately 192 plus square root of 192 squared minus 4 times 48 times 183 divided by 2 times 48. So 2.43 and then if we Use the minus we have approximately one point five seven. Now our distance is the amount of dry land that we're building our pipeline on. And since our total distance downstream is two miles, we can see that we're not going to be using 
anything more than 2. So this value for d is not usable. Now if we use our 1.57 for d, we can get w to be 16 times 1.57 squared minus 64 times 1.57 plus 73 over 16. So our W, which is the distance that we're building our pipeline in the water, is going to be approximately 8.866. So we'll use this as our dry land distance and this as our water distance. Our question asks for the cheapest construction cost to build the pipeline. And so we're going to put in one times one point fifty seven plus two times point eight six. And we get a cost of approximately three point two nine nine million.